I am so excited for this video and probably it's gonna be my favorite video ever and I know I say that every time. Also, hi, yes, I am driving today. Welcome to my car. But basically, this is the first video that I filmed in my hometown. Today we are in Santiago, Dominican Republic and we're heading to the carnival which is my favorite thing of my country and my city. Um, but yeah, basically the carnival happens every February and it's celebrated every Sunday. It's on the field. And now that we're at a red light, basically the carnival is so beautiful, so colorful. The costumes are extremely elaborate. People spend like the whole year preparing for this. Each city has its own unique character and it also has like the best music it's my favorite dominican music ever it's like the music from the carnival you can just like feel it inside of you so obviously we have to go and sketch there so that's what we're doing today oh oh my god and here is the monument so there it is wow. and lucky for you guys we're starting at a vip spot today my grandma's balcony From here, we can see people getting ready and they're starting to line up with their groups. Like they're gonna walk the parade with their floats or whatever. And like I told you, we were at a VIP spot today. All right, and I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's really loud right now. Uh, I think I'm just gonna start doing one of the lechones down there because it's really early. We still have a little bit more time before the parade starts. So why don't we just do this guy here? while we wait. And then we'll head down and walk all the way to the monument in the parade. Right now I am drawing what's called a lechon, even though this one is not wearing the mask that goes with the costume. But I really like his suit and I think his braids are really cool. Mostly I'm trying to capture the swag or the vibe of the pose, the way he carries himself. They have a certain way of moving, a certain way of acting. It's a personality. Now let's draw the whip. And once we're on the streets, I'll make sure to show you the lechones in their full form and explain everything I know about them. Now we're down and out in the craziness and the hecticness. But here's the first sketch. Now let's add some color to it. And that is nice, but let's push it a little bit more. This background is very stylized. You can see the monument and some mountains in the back since Santiago is surrounded by mountains. And the lechon is in the middle of the street as a homage to a very typical carnival song called Baile en la calle or Dance on the Streets. That's our first lechon and first sketch out of three of the day. Now it's time for us to venture into the carnival. So we're gonna start heading up there and then we're gonna get to the monument. Also, today I am not by myself. Of course, I need a company for today and I have my brother with me. Now let's talk about the anatomy of a lechon. They are meant to be very stylized pigs. That's what the word lechon actually means. And the costume has a few components. First, the colorful suit embellished with ribbons, rhinestones, mirrors, and bells, anything shiny. They wear a long belt around their waist, and then they have the beautiful mask with the long horns. These designs can be super creative and unique. They can be anything you can imagine. And yes, they also carry a whip, which to this day, I don't know how they do their thing without hitting the crowd. But boy, they do. Oh, yes, and I almost forgot. They also carry these balloons, which fun fact, they are indeed cow bladders. No joking, they are cow bladders. And they are sun dried with ashes to remove some of the horrible smell. And if you're not wearing a costume, they will hit you. Now it's time for our second sketch. And since we already drew a lechon, let's draw my second favorite character of the carnival. 
Robot Gallina means still the hen, and I think the character is so fun, so colorful, it's meant to be very voluptuous, and I think the way it dances and the movement the costume makes, it's beautiful. So let's just start with the sketch. The origins of this character come from some country legend, when someone stole someone's chicken. There's another version that says it's an African-inspired character about fertility, even though most of the time it's a man dressed up as a woman. And look at her go, she's on her way to the monument, and so will we later. I will take some liberties on this design and add some ribbons to the umbrella. And here's her final sketch, now let's add some color and a background. Since the character itself is so colorful, I kept this background somewhat simple and just added a pattern and some confetti. Oh, and I forgot to say, in case it wasn't obvious, this is technically a drag queen, but most people are not ready for that conversation. So let's continue our journey to the top of the monument. This is our last stop, here we are at the top of the monument, and I wanted to just sit down and state how much I love the carnival. Right now I'm in such a high because I just really, really love the, the energy of the lechones and everything, and I just want to be one right now. So next year, you know what's happening next year, I'm gonna dress up as one. I have done that before, multiple times actually. Fun fact, my thesis was going to be an animated short based on the carnival, but I changed the story, even though I did pitch it, here are some of the thumbnails that I did for that. One day I'm gonna make either a short film or a movie based on the carnival. But yeah, we still have one more sketch to do, so let's just do it right here with our friend. And yes, I'm gonna do one more lechon, but it's going to be a lechon mask with a twist. And also I'm gonna use this opportunity to give you a little bit more of the backstory, because there's a lot of story you guys need to know. Even though today we have so many different masks, originally there were two main types of lechones. They were from two different neighborhoods and you would tell them apart based on the horns. We have los pepineros, which have the plain sleek horns. And then we have los olleros, which have the horns full of spikes. Back in the day, there was a huge rivalry between the two and they would even fight each other with the whips, and according to my uncle, even with knives. But I don't know how true the last part is, so just take it as an urban legend. And yes, today I had a little crowd while I was sketching, um, but I am almost done. This is our final rough sketch of today. Now let's add some color to it. And for this one, I added a whip as a division. I don't know, I thought it was a clever touch, Regarding the background, for the left side I use round shapes, while for the right side I use triangles and squares to accentuate the difference on the two types of masks. And now we're gonna bring back our three sketches of today. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, and I really hope I captured the spirit of the carnival. I think the carnival is a feeling, a very contagious one, that brings everyone together to have a good time and leave their problems at home. People put so much time, effort, and probably money into these costumes, but I believe the joy this celebration brings makes it all worth it.